Hey, yo, what's up, guys? It's Missy on here, back in the video, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to add cutscenes into Yoshi Crafter Engine. So, uh, I'm not gonna blabber, and let's just get straight into it. Okay, so first of all, you're gonna go into your actual mod, go into weeks, and uh, there'll probably be like a plus button at the literal top. So, you're gonna press that, and then it'll say week one, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna press on that, and then here you go. You have your whole week already created for you. So, you're gonna go into your week settings. Your week, in, in, or not week, sorry. You're gonna customize it a little bit. So your week name is pretty much just this. You can change it from up here or down here, it doesn't matter. Uh, I just named the boy and gal. And then you have your song tracks. Uh, now with these, the song track names have to be spelled the exact same way that you spelled it, like with the lowercase. Uh, if you spelled it with lowercase, which most likely you did, then you know, you're gonna spell it all with lowercase. And it'll probably look like this. And then you're going to separate it with a comma and then put a space and then type your name. And then you use the bright the, the button sprite, which is really this. And you don't have to do anything for that. Um, I think it changes if you change the, um, yeah, if you change the number, it just changes. I think it goes to week seven. Yeah. So I think that's the button sprite thing. And on select SFX, which really sounds, oops, sounds like this. What it sounds like uh well, that's when you click the week one thing and then you have all oh, these ones the background sprite pads that's probably pretty much just for the background thing you we're not gonna you know use that for today uh then you can change whatever you can change girlfriend you can move her wherever you want um and you can change the opponent uh i just literally removed the s from characters so it wouldn't be dead because i don't want an opponent there and then you could change boyfriend to whatever you want to them too, stuff like that, and then you can put his animation name as BFA, and then that's the animation, like right there. Okay, so that's all you need for that. Um, just a nice week. Oh, you could also change the background by clicking here. You could just change the background like that. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna put mine at like a nice blue. There you go. Take this, and press save. That's all you need for that. Now you're gonna exit out. Go into your mods, go into the mod, go into videos, and then you're gonna put your two cutscenes in here, okay? Uh, or videos, whatever. And then name them, the name, the song name, exactly what the song name is, no spelling errors, dash cutscene, exactly like that, and then there should be dot mp4 uh, at the end. Exactly like that, nothing else, all right? And then after that, um, wait, what is that, hold on. Okay, it looked weird. I was like, what is that black mark thing? Um, so now, it's, it's really easy. All I gotta do now is go into your mod. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Go into story mode. And then, well, just press normal. Or I, I'm gonna do normal mode. Or not normal. Um, because if your songs don't have a mode um, that is normal then um it's not gonna work I'm happy i know that but... so i'm gonna put our hard mode there we go now it should work that is super low But it's fine. Three, All right. Two, um, one. So now you have that. And that works and stuff. Now I'm just gonna go to my developer options. I'm gonna skip this song so that it can go to the next uh, cutscene. And there you go. 
That is how you add cutscenes into Yoshicraft Dragon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, or it helped you with your mod or whatever. Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications to never ever miss a video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.